the Induscom uh, 2021. Uh, my name is Alexandra Cassio. <coughs> I am a professor of UFABC and uh, I am the chair of the Power Energy One. Uh, this session is specializing in power <coughs> and the energy. Uh, thank you and let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Anderson Ricardo Justo de Araújo and I'm going to present um, uh, the paper An Analysis of Frequency Dependence Soil Modules Influence on the Transient Responses. The other authors are Tainá Pascualato, James Kolke, Sergio Kurokawa and José Pissolato. We compute the transversal admittance and the longitudinal impedance by these equations where we consider the ground return admittance and the ground return impedance as uh, highlighted here. For the ground return impedance we consider the Carson's approach and the Sun's approach where they are basically given by complex integral and there is a uh, logarithmic form of the Sun's approach where they are shown here in this slide. Uh, we considering the soil parameters conductivity and permittivity, constant and frequency dependent. Uh, considering the frequency dependent soils we have five different formulations which are summarized in this table and details are found in our paper. Uh, then we consider two scenarios, line energization and a lightning strike at a single phase transmission line. Here are the parameters, these lines are located above uh, soils of 300 and 3000 ohms meter and here are the parameters that for each type of disturbance. We show that different models, uh, frequency models, result in different uh, transient response, especially at the peaks of the lightning <coughs> uh, striking uh, at the transmission line, as summarized in these figures here. So, uh, the main importance of our paper is to show the difference uh, that we obtain when we represent uh, a soil with different soil approaches uh, for the frequency dependent or independent soil parameters in the ground return impedances. Thank you. My name is Thiago, and the submission works title that I will present is Evaluation of the Harmonic Current Injection Method for Sharing of Responsibilities for Voltage Harmonic Distortions at the Point of Common Coupling, Deploying the Concept of Hybrid Rectifiers. The emergency of harmonic distortions at voltage and current in the, elect in the electrical system buzzbars causes problems in the quality of electrical energy. 
There are some methods in the literature that determine the harmonic responsibility between supply system and a consumer system at a point of common coupling, PCC. In this sense, this work presents the application of the concept of hybrid rectifiers for active power factor correction, PFC, in order to determine the sharing of responsibility related to voltage harmonic distortions. The harmonic care injection method will be evaluated deploying the CEP converter as the electronic device connected to the PCC. Results obtained with other methods will be analyzed. A grant shows the power system seen from the PCC between the supplier and the consumer. Figures 2 and 3 present the Norton equivalent circuit used for application of the harmonic current injection method. Equivalent harmonic currents of order 8 produced by supply and consumer systems are presented in the equations. The portions of responsibility are the values of projections in figure 4. Figure 5 and figure 6 show the steps of, for applying the harmonic current injection method considering the proposed system. The system simulation was accomplished in the passing software. The parameters of simulated system are shown in table 1. After the application of the harmonic current injection method with CP converter, table 2 is obtained with the responsibility results for voltage harmonic distortions at the point of common coupling. Table 3 shows the results obtained for sharing of responsibility using the one five superposition method, considering the proposed system. Table 4 presents the results of capacitor switching methodology. The use of the CEP converter performing PFC for the application of the harmonic current injection method provided results close to the other methodologies and close to the ideal results. The prototype implemented in the, lab in the laboratory is shown in figure 7. Its parameters are very close to the simulated system. Table 5 presents the experimental responsibility results for the analyzed system. The experimental results are similar to the simulation results presented by the modified superposition method and by the capacitor switching methodology. In this slide, I present the reference that were used for this work. stability analysis considering the SSSC packets. In this work, the static synchronous series compensator packets model was developed considering it as an ideal voltage source in series with an impedance to model the device's internal losses. In the model, the module and phase of the voltage phasor can be manipulated. These parameters are obtained from the solution of the power flow when specifying desired values of the active power flow, reactive power flow, or voltage at the SSSC installation point. For the solution of the power flow, expressions derived for the SSSC are included in the composition of the Jacobian matrix, which is preserved and complements the model for the study of the small signal stability. To assess the influence of the power flow control or the stability of the power system, Several actuation modes of the SSSC are proposed and the dynamic response of the system is simulated with a focus on dumping electromechanical oscillations. For the analysis of the stability of the system, the electromechanical dynamics of the generator, the actuation of the automatic voltage regulators, the SSSC, and also the power system stabilizers in generators, 
and power oscillation damping controller effects are considered. Such expressions are grouped according to the power sensitivity model, which considers the balance of active and reactive powers in all buses of the system. From the previous state space representation, with the output Y and input U known, it is possible to obtain G of S, that represents the entire power system. The simulations were carried out in MATLAB, and the New England Multi-Machine System is considered. The system has nine oscillatory modes, four of them with unstable characteristics, as the NG values are in the right half plane of the complex plane. Following the work, the SSSC was installed at line 310 and 3130, as they presented the best results. The power system stabilizers were installed at generators 5, 7 and 9, thus allowing to assess the dynamic response were similar system. for the SSSC installed in the two lines, but only in the case of active and reactive power flow control. This work presented a model for the static synchronous series compensator and incorporated it into the power flow formulation and the power sensitivity model for small signal stability analysis. Thank you for your attention. applied to high risk of rating technologies, paving the way to the Industry 4.0 at nuclear power plants. Talking about nuclear power plants, even though they are a high capacity alternative energy source, they are usually treated with fear due to the accidents that happened during its development, so it's a high risk of rating technology. What is the safest way to use this kind of technology? To answer the, this question, the past, the present, and the future were analyzed. To analyze the past, the accidents that happened were analyzed, looking for the risks involved in those accidents. To analyze the present, the project standards regarding the project of nuclear power plants were analyzed. To look at the future, the safe integration of nuclear power plants with other systems and what good can Industry 4.0 bring to nuclear power plants was studied. Looking at the past, the reports, the official reports for the accidents at Three Mile Island, Chernobyl and Fukushima, and also the official reports for the incidents at Pax and Shika were studied. To look at the present, the project standard nuclear power plants, instrumentation and control for systems important to safety general requirements for systems was studied and some important points were highlighted. To look at the future, the automation, the appropriated automation technologies that can be applied to high risk operating systems were studied and what is the safest way to insert nuclear power plants at Industry 4.0. Those were the references consulted to write this article. Thank you very much.
Hi there. My name is Rafael Silva. I'm a doctoral student at Federal University of Minas Gerais, and I will introduce the work called Active Power Saturation for Full-Scale Renewable Power Converters During Low Voltage ride through Operation. In recent years, several countries have been inserting large amounts of alternative sources into their energy matrix. But because of the stochastic nature of wind and solar resources, there isn't a compatibility between the generated energy and the demand, leading to stability problems. Then, this scenario has been forcing the transmission system operators to establish stricter rules to the integration of alternative sources. In this new scenario, a recurring point in different transmission operators' grid codes is low voltage right through. In addition to the non disconnection, during the voltage right through operation, the grid codes also require positive sequence reactive current injection to help the voltage recover, where this requirement must take precedence over any other regulation or generation function. Power control strategies are equations that allow to calculate the reference current needed to infit to the grid the active and reactive power set points, and also make it possible to mitigate power quality problems. Different power control strategies can be described through the flexible approach. Then, because the voltage magnitude reduction, the reactive current requirement and mitigation of power quality issues, it's necessary to reduce the active power production to limit the converted current at its rated value. Thus, in the development of the algorithm, four control priorities were established. Figure 4.1 presents the flowchart of the power saturation algorithm. The voltage levels will be checked and the current values will be calculated according to the previous priorities. The algorithm was evaluated through computational simulations of a 2 MW wind energy conversion system and three different voltage sags. Figure 5.3 shows the results when injecting current only by the positive sequence. Figure 5.4 shows the results when cancelling the active power oscillations. And in figure 5.5 shows the results when cancelling the reactive power oscillations. The aim of this work was to show the development of an algorithm for current limitation during momentary voltage sags, observing the reactive current injection requirement and that can be applied to different power control strategies. The proposed method does not employ complex trigonometric expressions that demand a high computational cost, and the results show that it archived the stipulated objectives. Thank you for your attention, and I look forward to the full presentation. Professor Fernando Lessa Toffoli, and I'm going to present the paper entitled Maximum PowerPoint Tracking Based on the Curve Sweep Method. The proposed MPPT technique is based on sweeping the current versus voltage characteristic of the PV device among the non isolated DC DC converter topologies only buck boost type. Once can sweep the whole curve as demonstrated previously in the literature. 
In this work, a sepic converter is used to sweep the characteristic curve as demonstrated in this plot. As previously mentioned, the proposed technique is based on sweeping the entire current versus voltage characteristic by varying the duty cycle from 0 to 1. For this purpose, it is necessary to measure both the current and voltage of the PV device. The algorithm is responsible for determining the maximum power PMPP as well as the duty cycle DMPP associated with the condition of maximum power. The control system must ensure that the SEPIC converter operates with a duty cycle DMPP so that the maximum power can be extracted. The output power of the PV device is continuously monitored and if the absolute error E is less than a given value beta imposed by the designer, then the algorithm returns to the beginning of the flow chart. The steady state performances of three techniques are compared with each other and it is observed that the proposed method presents the highest amount of extracted power among all assessed techniques. Dynamical tests were also performed and it is effectively shown that the proposed method does not present an oscillatory behavior of the extracted power in steady state condition unlike PNO and INC as reported in the literature. This work has presented a simple MPPT technique that is capable of overcoming the inherent limitations in PNO and INC. Thank you for your attention. Let's go. Uh, so uh, we see the videos of the six uh, papers, and now uh, it's open to question the authors. Okay. Anybody have questions? No. So, uh, if anybody have questions, I, I have a question to the authors from paper number one. Uh, let's go. Minute, please. <coughs> Analysis of frequency dependent soil models, influence of transient uh, responses. Uh, this subject is very interest, interesting because the the current grounding frequency uh, is um, a problem a problem uh, including in my area uh, in my case automation uh, and the uh, energy power transmitter is a is a problem <coughs> uh, important so I, I have a question. Uh, do the authors have plans to experiment with these models, perhaps in partnerships with energy distributors, uh, companies, companies of the energy? Please. Who who will speak from the authors? F L T. Uh, sorry, uh, was this question directed to me? Uh, um, 
Yes, yes. Uh, Leonardo made a, a question in the chat. Can I answer that first? Uh, the private ch chat or the... Uh, in, uh, in the comments. The comments. Uh, Mr. Leonardo Poltronieri presented uh, a question. I would like to answer. Okay. Okay. okay? No, pa paper six. Uh, yes, yes. The, I, the, question I, I, you, the question you made was not for me. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Uh, I, okay. I prefer uh, maintain the, the, the order. The order, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. My question is for the paper one. Who who speak for the paper one, please? Nobody. Uh, please, uh, administrator, the the speaker from the paper one is here. No. <clears throat> In this case, uh, I. I, I passed the, the the question to paper two. Okay. Um, what a minute, please. Let's go. Um, paper two is evaluation uh, of harmonic current injection method for cherry of your responsibilities for voltage harmonic distortion at the point of common coupling, deploying the concept of the hybrid rectifiers. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Hi. This... What? Thiago? Hi. Yes. Thiago, you speak for the, the paper too? Yes, it's me. Okay, Thiago. Uh, so I... I open to the questions. Uh, anybody have a question for the paper two? No. So I I have a questions. Okay. <laughs> uh, do the authors have plans to eventually make a product, maybe uh, in partnership with a company? Oh, uh, thank you for the question. And um, the moment we we don't uh, we don't think about uh, okay we don't think about a uh, a partnership but we can think about it in the the future the one of the the ob the next objectives for this this work is um, make a experiment. Uh, considering uh, values of currents and voltages that are that are more more that uh, values of current and and voltages that uh, and for that permits a big uh, uh, Big, uh, bigger values for voltage and currents. I'm sorry, because the in the in this experiment, we we didn't get um, and more appropriate values. So the results uh, the results are are results suffers in in little discrepancies. But in the in the future we we can think about a partnership with enterprise, but in the moment we don't, we don't think about it. I don't know if I, I answered the, the question properly. Uh, to me, yeah, yes, but uh, I hope so. Uh, the authors think about this because the, the the paper is very interesting the the work is very interesting so uh, a practical approach uh, it's it's great okay yeah is a is an alternative for applying a method that that already exists but is this uh, this alternative presents some 
some advantages for application of the harmonic current injection method. So okay. we can think about it in the, the future. Thank you very much, Thiago. You're welcome. Uh, anybody have uh, more questions? Um, Argenivaldo, you put the the question in the YouTube. Uh, please, no. Leonardo. Okay, uh, let's go to the third. 30 uh, article. Um, <clears throat> power flow control and small signal stability analysis, considering the SSSC uh, factors. Okay. Uh, please. Uh, Anybody have a question about uh, this third paper? Uh, who will speak for the this paper? Carlos, Elenilson, or Percival? Ah, Good Carlos. Morning. Hello, Carlos. Hello. Uh, Let's go to YouTube if uh, uh, some question uh, for now. No. So uh, I have a question, Carlos. Uh, it, it's a, a question. Uh, <laughs> look like the the other question I, I made, but uh, the the similarities of the works uh, allow me to do this. Uh, do the authors have plans to experiment with these models per house in the partnership with uh, energy distributors? No, no. Uh, the authors no pretend to to make a a, a prototype né? is a, a high voltage system is is needed, and the control is too complicated in. Do, do there does the this possibility yeah? we don't uh, expand uh, exp explore this pos possibility <clears throat> it's a, a, a very interesting uh, simulator you do I, I really appreciate it. Thank the, you. The mathematical is a, a, a little bit uh, heavy, but uh, <clears throat> especially the, the Jacob, Jacobian matrix, but uh, the the work is, is very interesting. Uh, I wonder, is uh, uh, about... Uh, a practical approach. I really wonder. Yes, the, the mathematics is complicated. Uh, we made a model of the SSSC and put the <coughs> dynamic and the static equations in Jacobian. And this the initial condition to analyze the stability. Uh, for for simulations is uh, a, a model very interesting to to make the results, uh, but we have more difficult to implement uh, in a, a, a physical plant. It's, it's, it's too dangerous and it's, it's expensive. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, energy is a. Uh, 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 Usually is uh, uh, expensive and uh, complicated uh, things to to test. <clears throat> okay. Uh, 
Okay, uh, any more, more question? No? So, uh, thank you very much, Carlos. Thank you. Uh, I, I go to, to call uh, my student, uh, Felipe. Hi, Felipe. Uh, I, I work in, in this uh, paper with Felipe, so I, I shut off, okay? <laughs> I, I pass the, <laughs> the balance to uh, A.G. Zinaldo, please. And uh, anybody have a question to Felipe? Let's go. Uh... Okay, so in this case, hi, Felipe. Uh, hi. <laughs> very interesting work you've you've made. I read the your full paper and the full presentation. Uh, I got interested in in that work as it is um, talks about a very uh, prominent um, issue that are power plants, the applications of uh, standards in the power plants industry uh i would like to answer uh to quest to make a question about the the applications of that standards specifically the standard you made a uh, do you you highlighted on your works in in, in brazilian um in the brazilian scene so i know that these standards uh um, are to protect the public, uh, uh, but there, I think there are more. Uh, there are several other classes. Uh, can you talk about a bit about of, of these um, these points you highlighted in your work? I... Yeah. Yes, for sure. The though uh, those standards they they state um, uh, ways, better ways to to project a nuclear power plant. So the the first question was, the, the starting point was, um, is it possible to safely control and acquire data from a nuclear power plant? So how <coughs> can I do that? You In uh, actual plants or facilities we, we have, uh, usually uh, we use a CLP, to, PLC talking about automation, and at nuclear power plants, you can't use a regular one. So in these standards, they state a lot of uh, a lot of things about the the IOs, the security IOs, and about the the control and automation systems. So there, so there is a safe way to implement it. And then, since we can acquire data and control control the power plant, we have more safety and also can. Um, uh, conclude it in a uh, in in industry 4.0 since it's necessary to to have this kind of of, of things, but in a safe way, having a, a safe network, a, a safe a safe pro, uh, processing. So that that's the main idea of those those standards. Sort of if I'm answering your question, but um, that that's the the most uh, uh, the 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 standard that talks most about the, the the power plants so that's why i chose it to to study and since we have uh, and at the regulatory norms in, in brazil if there isn't there isn't a, a specific one a very specific standard about something we can study an international one so i cho uh, chose to study this one which is uh, i thought more more complete okay thank you for your answering my question <laughs> thank you for asking <laughs> anybody more question uh so i i really uh say thank you to to felipe it, it was a pleasure work with you felipe for your and own. <laughs> uh i i really great you here okay so the uh the 50 paper uh, about active power saturation 
for full-scale re renewable power converters during the vo voltage ride through operation. Okay. Uh, who will speak? Rafael Silva. Yes. Hello, yes. Rafael. Hello. Please, uh, so, uh, anybody have a question to Rafael? Um, no. So, I... I I have a question. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, <clears throat> do the authors have plans to eventually carry out a, a hands-on experiment? For sure. Uh, that's uh, the next. The next step of the work is uh, try to uh, get some experimental results from uh, a workbench. The, I don't know if uh, they answered your question. Uh, your workbench, uh, okay, uh, because the uh, uh, in, in nowadays in Brazil, uh, okay. we have uh, an explosion of the companies and the uh, projects of the <coughs> solar, uh, mostly, and the mm -hmm. distributed power. I yes. see this in, in very in very places here in in the São Paulo city, uh, in the São Paulo country. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, about uh, two years ago, uh, I I have a, a very good uh, experience in the uh, a city named Arasatuba when the, the, the many companies have uh, to uh, insta installation the, the, this uh, kind of system. But uh, mm -hmm. I, I wonder about the, the quality power, okay? Yes. Uh, the paper of yours uh, is in interesting about the, this focus. What, what happened in the, in the power quality in the, in the system uh, with these characters? Uh, it's a, it's a, a, a very good question, in, in my opinion, okay? And mm -hmm. the practical test is really contributed about your your work. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, okay. Uh, more questions? Hmm. Okay. Let's go. So, uh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you very much, Rafael. And uh, uh, finally, <laughs> FLT, Felipe. Fernando. FLT is Felipe. Fernando. Fernando. Fernando, uh, thank you. Uh, you. You have the, the first question uh, in, uh, in the YouTube, uh, you see. Okay. Uh, if you, you can respond, please, to everybody. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm sorry it took so long to answer your question, Leonardo. Uh, the fact is uh, we <laughs> did test the method using uh, distinct partial shading patterns. Uh, you won't find the results in the paper itself. It's part of a uh, dissertation I supervised and you can see the results here, where we emulated three distinct patterns. And the main advantage of this technique is that it takes a little longer to determine the maximum power point. However, it is capable of determining it accurately in every condition. Here you can see uh, the results. Um, they, are, they can be found in the dissertation I supervised. If you want more, a more detailed explanation, you can send me an, an email. I would be glad to share it with you. I hope I have responded to your question. OK. Uh, <clears throat> it's a, a, a very good question. Uh, so I, I have a question. It's a. a <clears throat> 
not so original question, but uh, I really think it is pertinent to your work. Uh, do the authors have plans to eventually make a product, maybe in partnership with a, a company? Well, um, this is in fact um, an MPPT technique that can be used in commercial systems. However, it is not competitive with PO, for example. We know that most commercial systems, PV systems, use in fact PO because it takes long to sweep the whole curve. However, it can really find and determine the maximum power. We compared nine distinct techniques uh, in this dissertation I mentioned before, and we found out that some methods that are quite complicated present improved performance. But in fact, we, we can only find microinverters and PNO in practice. I don't think we, we will come out to uh, an industrial solution, for example. Okay, uh, <clears throat> it's it's a, a, a not a, the merit of the okay. work, but uh, I, I really I, I really think your paper very interesting. Uh, <clears throat> the the modeling the modelment is uh, uh, very careful. I, I see, and uh, the results uh, the simulator results. Um, much interesting, really. Okay, unfortunately, we could not include all the results in the, the short paper, but they can be found in the dissertation. Okay, if okay. anyone is interested, uh, anyone who's interested in the work can send me an email. I will be glad to, to share it with you. Okay, okay uh, uh, I'm glad to, to listen. The, the work is, is continuum. Uh, I think so. The it, this is a very interesting the development. So, uh, anybody have uh, more questions? No. A uh, Genevieve. A Gisinaldo, please. Hi, 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 Fernando. Uh, hi. I, I, I personally I've worked in some already with some um, point tracking systems for other applications in my area, and I was very interested in on your work mainly because of the use of of, of that sweeping method. Uh, and you mentioned the sweeping method has some drawbacks due to the lack of dy no, dynamic responses. Right, uh, and however, it, it does find the the highest ev uh, efficiency eventually. Uh, is there any? Uh, and my question I would like you to answer would be: Is there any possibility to to change or to tweak a little bit the algorithm in order to make it shorter or mm. to make it a, a memory based sweeping method or something like this? Well, th that's an interesting question. First, we tested the algorithm with a simple microcontroller, Arduino-based <laughs> board. Uh, it took, uh, if you can see the re these results, sorry. Um, the results show that it is, it is necessary to sweep the entire curve. It takes about 1.2, 1.3 seconds and uh, it will lead the efficiency considering a time window of 10 seconds to 85% on average efficiency. But of course, we are considering the whole window, not the steady state condition, right? Uh, we could make the, the response faster by reducing the, the error, but it could lead the algorithm to the loss of the maximum power point. It, uh, we didn't test it with uh, DSP, for example. Maybe it could be faster. Perhaps these are the only ways to increase, to make it faster, in my opinion. Uh, and that's it. 
Okay. Very good. Very good. Interesting. I think that's it for me. Thank you, Fernanda. Thank you. Well, uh, if he, anybody have a question for any paper, please, <laughs> this is the time. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> in this case, I, I, I really want to, to thank you to the virtual presence of the all the authors. Uh, thank you very much to, to bring your work to Induscon. Uh, I really <coughs> want to, uh, all of you uh, enjoy the, the Congress. Uh, there are uh, many, many interesting things happening uh, here and there. So, uh, I, I will uh, stop the transmission. <laughs>